Gosh, take a look at my Twitter feed this morning. I can't quite handle the irony, but we'll try to unpack it nonetheless. Here we have Hamza Youssef complaining and whining about the rise of far-right populism in the UK and Europe, driven by a hatred of Muslims, saying he was the first Muslim leader of a Western democracy and that Islamophobia has poisoned our politics. Well, if he knew anything about Islam, he'd know that they're not pro-democracy. So, quite frankly, why do you think people are starting to wake up to the fact that Islam and Western democratic values just don't mix? And on that topic, let's move down to the irony of this feed. Here is a post, a video taken in uh, the Islamic State of Iran, where Islam does run the show. And uh, a woman who hasn't covered her hair as properly as they would like is being rammed into a van by women who uh, abide by those disgraceful laws. Now, Hamza. Do you wonder why people in the UK and Europe are waking up to the extremist values of Islam and that they don't belong in our democratic countries? Gosh, hopefully that woman survives to see another day, but it's unlikely, unfortunately. Now, if you think what I'm saying is maybe unwarranted, bigoted or even racist, I challenge you to find an Islamic country that's pro-democracy, pro-freedom of speech, pro-women's or gay rights, anything. Here's some evidence for why it's not the far right or British or European people starting to just hate Muslims. It's actually us just realising what Muslims are saying about us and about their values and being totally open about it. Take a look at what Muhammad Hijab had to say about Christians and Jews. Reason why you have to fight them is because they are Jews and Christians. You should fight those empires around you, or those hukumat around you. He's saying he must fight them because we are Christians and Jews. Islam and Western values of freedom do not mix. And if that's Islamophobia, if that's far right to you, then I'm sorry. Maybe you don't belong here either.